Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry for the lack of videos lately. Um, it's because, well, I am online schooling, I am working a job, and I am a full-time mom. Those three things, yeah, it's a plate full of responsibilities. So yeah, I just wanted to say sorry again. <laughs> for today's video, I wanted to do a tech refresh type of video. And we're gonna customize our backgrounds, organize our folders. So I'm actually gonna do it on my MacBook, my iPad, my iPhone, and my Apple watch hopefully you learn a thing or two and it hopefully motivates you to do the same thing because an updated look it just feels motivating and yeah <laughs> so let's get on to the video so this is my MacBook I don't know if you can see but because like there's a glare but I just put Polaroid pictures of like my family or like my husband me and most of them are Jaden it's a little cute addition to my MacBook I did buy a clear case on Amazon if you guys want a link to that comment down below you know you can see what's on it and yeah okay so when I open my MacBook you're gonna see a picture of Jaden I already had this like for a long long time so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna clean up this heck of a mess because it's so messy it's so distracting like my files are everywhere Okay, so now I kind of grouped like everything that's for school and everything that's for, um, I don't know, just my editing. So now I'm going to put these in my folder. So I have a school folder, I have an editing folder, and I have an others folder. So I'm going to put all of these into these. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put all like my wallpapers to my wallpaper folder, my icons to my icon folder. Okay, now that she's very clean and as you can see, my wallpaper is very visible now. We're gonna change our wallpaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Pinterest. Okay, so we're gonna go on my profile because I did pin uh, MacBook wallpapers here. So I've been into this kind of collage background thing, but it's not really a collage, it's more of a mood board kind of stuff. So we're gonna pick which one we like. So lately I've been into tan, beige, nude colors. I'm gonna use this one. So we're gonna save that, download the image, bring that to our desktop. This is how I cluttered my desktop, by the way. Let's minimize this first and let's set up as our desktop picture and there we go we change our desktop so this one goes with the others just so we keep it clean as we go so my wallpaper is changed i really like it it's very minimal it's very neutral colors nude it's just the simplicity of it i like i do want to change these um icons because they've been there for a long time these ones i kind of want to keep because i love butterflies but i might change them to white so let's do that I don't know what do you guys think do you like the white or the black better personally I do like the black but the white is just something different you know okay. and I'm gonna change these ones Okay, so now that is it for my MacBook wallpaper. I am also gonna customize my Safari. So first we're gonna click out of all of these and then let's just open a new tab so we can see this setup so you see how it's like kind of cluttered so there's favorites there's frequently visited there's privacy report my icloud and i don't know i don't like the look of it i just want it to be maybe just like the favorites you know so i'm gonna get rid of these and just leave the favorites because that's the only one i want on my screen so i'm gonna do that by clicking on this i don't even know what this is yeah slider i don't know but let's just unclick the things that we don't want or like i don't want <laughs> So get rid of that, 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 um, that, and there we go. And now we're gonna add a background. So the best way to look for a picture is just go on Pinterest and that's, that's basically the solution. So I do want something about coffee. So I do have a coffee board. If you guys wanna follow my Pinterest, you know. <laughs> Let's actually try this one. Let's see. 
Okay, now let's put it in our thing. Hmm, I kind of like it, but I kind of do want to try something else, maybe? Hmm, I kind of like this better. So we're gonna leave it at that. And now I think that is it for my Safari. Let's just close all these tabs. We're gonna do Google Chrome. So it's very basic, it's very plain. So we're gonna do the same thing and add a background picture. But for this one, I do want coffee as well. And I do have one that I like, it's this one. Let's open it up. That looks really good. I really like that. <laughs> so now I don't want these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on shortcuts and hide shortcuts. Click done and it's gone. Now it looks very simple. So that is it for my Google Chrome. So just to finish the whole setup or the whole organizing, customizing, I'm just gonna clean up this whole bar because look how it extends to the very left and to the very right and that is very annoying and it looks really cluttered. So we're gonna do that. Clean up our trash. Get rid of these notifications. And yeah, that is it for my MacBook. Icons change, wallpapers change. This is decluttered, trash is empty, Google Chrome Safari is customized. We've done our MacBook setup. So next we're gonna go to our iPad. Hi, it's me, filming. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change our background. So I did save a picture from Pinterest already and it is very similar to my MacBook wallpaper because I'm kind of just liking that vibe, you know? And it's this one. So let's just make that as our wallpaper. I'm gonna do it for both lock screen and home screen. So again, my wallpaper is changed. Let's actually change our widgets or we actually don't have any widgets. We're gonna add widgets. So I did have like in mind two pictures of coffees and then my sub count to make me motivated to do more videos. <laughs> so let's just customize it. We're gonna do our sub count done we are at 2050 subscribers and i again i can't thank you guys enough we're gonna do two pictures of coffees so we're gonna go on widget smith let's add a small widget two of them let's change this into photo and again i did save a picture already it's this one so let's save that and then another one which is this one Save that as well. Okay, so that's what I'm doing for my widgets. It's very simple, but it's my style and yeah. <laughs> so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be grouping similar apps into a folder. So as you can see, all my Apple apps are in this folder. All my school apps are on this folder. My editing on this folder and my social media on this folder. So now I'm gonna pull out all the very, very important and very used ones. Okay, so now those apps are out of their folders. I'm gonna put them all in here. Okay, so now as you can see, it looks just like a desktop. And I don't know, I just really like that kind of style. One more thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of all these notifications. That looks way better. It looks very clean, it looks very organized, and it just, again, looks like a computer. <laughs> so this is the overview of everything. I just added two widgets, coffee, my sub count, and when you move this away, it's just a clean mood board type of wallpaper, and all my folders and apps are down below. I forgot to show you what the iPad looks with the home screen or like the lock screen, and it's just that. Same. So yeah. <laughs> so now we're doing my iPhone. I got bored with my wallpaper. So now we're going to change that. And we're also going to change our 
um, home screen. When you watch this video, you're gonna see like on my widget smith, it's already there. Like the pictures I want is already there. I just don't have the placement for it yet. So that is what I'm gonna show you guys. So first we're gonna go to our Pinterest again, of course. And we're gonna go to iPhone, where is it? aesthetic iphone wallpaper board so i do have like the same backgrounds like for that those ones but it's like iphone version okay the view is kind of weird but just bear with me i wanted to do this one or this one but honestly i might go with this one so let's just save that image open photos and use that picture So that's gonna be my lock screen and let's pick a home screen. For home screens, I like to keep it very simple because of all my apps that's going on. I don't like the look of it being crowded or anything. We could just go really plain and do a simple color. Also, my angle is very weird, so I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is fix our apps and insert our widgets and then get rid of all these notifications. So now we're gonna go on Widgetsmith. And you see how I already have the pictures? Um, yeah. I think that is it for my widgets and my apps. What I did on my very first page, I just did a picture of my family on a medium widget, my husband on a medium on a small widget, sorry, my son on a small widget, and just this aesthetic coat um coat hanger thing. I don't know, I just really like the look of it. And then my apps is this. This is how I organized it. Down below, I still have the three apps. And lastly, my widgets I used here is just my son and a small widget and this coat hanger again. Actually, I want to change that. I'm going to change it to the thing, to the book. So I just changed the medium into this like this book in a sheet picture. So yeah. <laughs> so now that that's done, we're just going to get rid of all these notifications. Okay, that is it. All my notifications are gone except for the settings one because I have to update my phone to get rid of that. But everything looks really clean. Everything looks very organized. So the last thing we're going to do is actually our Apple Watch. We're just going to change the face and I will actually do that with this one. But you can only customize it through your phone. So let's edit our faces. Okay, hopefully you saw that because I wasn't looking at the camera, but but here, let me show you all the faces I've made. So the first one is just the one that came with the watch. Um, so it just has the workout, the activity, 
the weather and that I don't know so that is it for my first phase my second phase is just this modular one it has a date the day the time the weather it also has messages Spotify and breathe breathe is very important for me because if ever I feel anxious I just click on that and then it prompts me to breathe for like this amount of time and yeah it's very helpful if you have like attacks and yeah <laughs> my third phase is just a background it's just a silk sheet with date the date and the time the next one is just the activity digital it's when i work out i can track uh, how many calories has passed the amount of um times i stood up but yeah it just has spotify because it is very important for me to listen to music whenever i'm working out and this one is just like the workout where you can set your goals and yeah that's basically it for workout <laughs> and yeah that's just how i just customized my apple watch by just changing the wallpaper i think there's nothing else i can do so there you have it guys that is it for my video i hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it and i hope this also the sun is going down Anyways, I hope this motivated you to do the same thing because it's a brand new year. We need a fresh restart for everything. But for now, let's start with our technology. <laughs> I'm so awkward. Anyways. I will see you guys on my next one soon. I promise. <laughs> yeah. Bye.